Hi there, this is Paul Thompson from Spitfire Audio. I'm going to show you today the first update to version 1.1 of our Evo Grid library. Um, we've done a little bit of work behind the scenes in two different areas. So the first area you'll see um, the grid has changed slightly in that we've organized things now into three categories. So, um, and this also enables you to randomize by category as well as by visual. So the three categories are simple, scary, and tense. And the best way to um, describe how these vary is that the simple category is the kind of beautiful area. Um, it, it became obvious to us that people were saying this would be great, but um, it would be good if you could record some more kind of beautiful stuff and slightly less scary stuff. Um, and knowing that there was a massive pile of stuff in there that was all beautiful and not scary at all, um, we gradually realized that if you're just randomizing across the whole range, um, you only need a couple of zones from the scary range to actually sour the entire thing into scary. So um, the scary, the, the, so the simple stuff is the kind of more beautiful um, stuff that tends to stay around the tonal center. The um, scary stuff, as we're calling it here in the middle there, um, that stuff tends to change pitch. And then it's not a hard and fast rule, but that's the kind of tendency. And then the tense stuff tends to have a kind of progressive um, slight build of tension into it. Um, and again, that's a kind of it's a very rough way of, of putting it. But um, I'm going to give you um, a quick blast of some of these categories so you can see how this thing works now with the updated um, section. So I'm going to turn off the effects for now. And um, I did that by command clicking any one of the effects uh, buttons in the line. You can turn them all off like that. And I'm, I can change all of the buttons to one line by command clicking inside the grid here. Um, you'll see that we now have um, uh, that we now have a legacy full mix here, and then we've got Evo um, close mix here. We decided to revisit the mix to give you a new. Uh, additional more kind of naturalistic and close perspective it really brings the material to life and the old mix is still there in the legacy patches but having used this in anger for a while now um, we felt that this new perspective would give us a kind of an extra 20 percent of value to the sounds it really kind of um, it's a really beautiful uh, kind of much more detailed perspective than the mix that we were using before so it's a so this is a, an additional content that you'll be given uh, in your download and it's free you can always use the original mix if you prefer the original mix but we feel that you this will give you another uh, another nice um, color to, to play with so I'm gonna just play a couple of the um, a couple of the evos so you can hear um, how they sound. You'll see that with the um, dynamics and the variation sliders here, where the variation slider is fully to the right, that means you're playing right from the beginning of the sample. And when it's fully to the left, you're cutting right into where the, um, the evolution is really happening. And we felt that, that, that having those latching in this way was a good way of doing it because when you're playing with a with a bigger dynamic when you want it to be louder you do want to kind of cut into where the action is but it's perfectly possible these are both obviously uh, linked to cc1 it's perfectly possible to unlink the variation slider if you want to control that separately that's no problem as well but i'll give you a quick blast so here's just the first up So you can hear that's very beautiful. Um, some really nice stuff in there. I'll just pick a few at random. Again, lovely stuff. And if we if we push the dynamics right up. you'll hear that we've got a great dynamic control in there as well. So I'll pick one more from in here um, and then we'll, we'll dive in. So some great stuff you can hear. Now you can easily randomize within simple and this gives you the whole of that simple range. Um, and that would sound like this.
Um, but also, obviously, and that's going to sound different every time you do it. And then if I just do it again. Now, if we um, want to introduce a little bit of scariness in, then we could just go to the slide to the point where we're just seeing that scary, scary grid uh, creeping in and then randomize with invisible. Um, now, I've only got one peg there, so I'm going to give it another shot <laughs> uh, until, oh yes, there we go. So I've got two there. So if I just play a chord at random, hopefully I'll catch those two. So you can see that C that's blue, roughly in the middle of the keyboard. That's the one that's giving you the pitch variation. So, and then it, obviously you can kind of um, give yourself a little bit more of the scariness. And you can hear how that um, how that really changes. Obviously, if we want to just randomize within scary, then that gives us it everything within the, the kind of scary zone. So that gives you a, a really good a, a good idea. And obviously we've still got the tweaked version in here. If I just play that. from the twisted imagination of Mr. Henson, <laughs> gives you your kind of tweaks. Um, and that, well, those are all different across um, all of the different Evos as well. So um, we've got the uh, the kind of tense section. So if I just pick a, a one of the pegs in the tense and give you a quick blast of that. And then if we just pick another one at random. So you can see what's going on there, and we can obviously um, randomize within tense to get a variation across the keyboard. So you can see what's going on there. Now um, that gives you a quick a quick overview of how we've reorganized the actual grid. Um, if we go to the uh, within the Evo strings folder here, we've got these curated presets as well. I'm going to give you a quick blast of these so that you can see. Um, there's some really, really useful settings where things have been laid out for you. And obviously we can, <laughs> we go, uh, we've got all of the effects switched on now, but if I go back, back down to the bottom of the dynamics, have a listen. So some really cool stuff in here. Um, let's have a quick listen to a few more. Uh, a rather nice start. I'll give you. Does what it says on the tin. Actually, if we pull the so we'll pull the dynamics right down, so we've got the full variation all the way to the right, gives us the full start of the sound. And again, you can hear some lovely stuff going on in there. So there's a ton of really lovely stuff in there. And then you've obviously got the um, Tootsie Patches, which give you your uh, complete Tooties all the way through. Um, so that's some, a useful kind of resource in there as well. And then we've obviously got the Legacy Full Mix Patch if you want to go back to the previous mix before we revisited the multi-tracks. So um, I think I've covered everything in the update. Um, so we've got the Evos are reorganized and split into the three categories, simple, tense and scary. We've updated the ability to randomize based on these categories and we've added the um, mod wheel to allow the evolution of the sound. So that's um, it's a really great uh, 
update to the Evo grid. Um, watch this space for more fun Evo stuff coming soon. Thanks very much for watching and we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye-bye.